नमस्ते स्टूडेंट दिस इज संजय नाथ टूडे सेशन इज ऑन द अर्थ एज अ प्लैनेट पार्ट टू स्टैंडर्ड नाइन आईसीएससी जियोग्राफी नाउ विल लर्न द एडिशनल एविडेंस टू प्रूव दैट द अर्थ इज फेरिकल इन शेप एविडेंस वन ऑल अदर प्लैनेट एंड स्टार्स यू एवर सीन अराउंड एंड देर इज नो रीजन टू इंडिकेट द अर्थ शुड बी ऑफ एनी डिफरेंट एविडेंस टू टाइम जोन डे एंड नाइट हैपन एट डिफरेंट टाइम एंड डिफरेंट प्लेसेज ऑन अर्थ इन फैक्ट it always day somewhere and night somewhere else evidence 3 the correlation effect means the freely moving things like wind and ocean currents or cyclone are deflected towards right only if you are in north of equator if you are south of equator it will deflect towards left evidence 4 direction and distance travel If you travel 10000 km straight along the earth's surface at 90 degree turn right and travel 10000 km and turn right again and travel another 10000 km you will be back towards from where you have started having successfully making an triangular path with 390 degree angles as any geology student can tell you that this is impossible on flat surface Evidence 5 The position of sun in general gets lower and lower in sky as you travel away from equator towards a higher latitude one can use this method to directly measure the curvature of the earth mark two points on earth surface of few hundred kilometers pointing north and south of each other and at noon measure the shadow cast by vertical meter sticks on each location you can use this shadow length to figure out the angle between the sticks and Once you add in how far apart they are you can calculate the earth's curvature evidence 6 apparent position of stars get changed at night as you go north or south of equator for example constellation orion will appear upside down and reverse if you are in australia evidence 7 fodin and majolin and many people afterwards circumnavigated the earth that means he left headed west continued going west and came back where he was started still going west after majolin's death one of his ship led by john sebastian de alcano finished the journey in 1521 listen to the earth it is the only planet known to us which supports life earth is also known to us as blue planet from here the chain of evolution was started listen to the extraordinary evidences which supports how life has endured on earth the early continents was still forming the land was dominated by volcanoes hostile lifeless but deep in the oceans life had begun the latest theory is the chemical stewing from the underwater volcanic vent solidified and the created the conditions needed for the first cells to form For some three billion years ago, single microscopic organisms were the most advanced form of life on the planet. Cyanobacteria, another oxygen-producing microbes, began to bloom. These flourish in the colonies of plant-like microbes that pumped out enormous volume of oxygen. and it was this increase of oxygen that has given rise to the life form on planet earth
the five landmark points that makes the earth habitable the sun is born a stable star the position of the sun and the earth in our solar system it is mainly surrounded by the gases and dust particles about 4.56 billion years ago the ideal condition for the planet earth was started in fact the orbital position of the earth and the distance from the sun is the ideal for the planet to support life it is also called the habitable zone the second landmark point is the magnetic core of the earth shortly after the earth's core formed the core which is mainly made up of iron and nickel earth started behaving like a giant magnetic bar eventually earth develops a magnetic field as you can see in the clip in fact this magnetosphere shield the earth from the solar wind and the cosmic harmful rays the third landmark point is earth's atmosphere actually the earth itself is the creator of his own atmosphere during cooling process from the earth interior gases oozed out and remain attached by the gravity primordial atmosphere was very different from the current one however it was composed of greenhouse gases early atmosphere was composed of methane water vapor and ammonia methane kept the earth warm one among the strong ghgs on the earth or earth would have frozen the fourth important landmark point is the water on earth Interestingly, water on Earth was brought by the comets and asteroid in the form of icy melt. It was in the form of condensed vapor. In the course of time, the vast depressions filled and formed oceans. Oceans are considered to be the first place to start the life on planet Earth. The next landmark point is the life-sustaining element. It was the first time the primitive life started releasing oxygen. tiny cyanobacteria and microbes produce enough o2 for the life form to flourish in the chain of evolution a timeline dial to make you understand the percentage of gases increased and decreased in volume in different geological time on planet earth eventually the correct volume of o2 triggered the explosion of life on planet earth and it still continue we'll discuss the four spheres of the earth the earth can be divided into four major spheres or realm name of the each spheres come from the greek word that describe what they are made of geo for crust bio for life form hydro for water and atmo for air we'll understand each one in detail first we'll take geosphere since geo means the earth surface or lithosphere it describe all the rocks and minerals it also includes the parts of the earth crust mainly inside the earth for example mantle and the core in fact it also includes the ocean floor all rocks and fine particles on the surface of the earth next is hydrosphere It is made up of all water bodies of earth. This includes river, ocean, lakes, streams, ponds, polar caps and even water vapor in the air. If you take a look of the earth from space, it is blue in color. This is because the earth surface is of 70% water. The third important sphere is biosphere. This is the zone of life on earth. Biosphere can extend to any place where life is found or exist. This can be in air, on the surface and underwater. Another important sphere in the layer of atmosphere and the life supporting gases. It surrounds our planet like a thick blanket. 
atmosphere is mainly composed of nitrogen, oxygen, noble gases and CO2 and the amount of water vapor too. These gases are attached with the earth due to the pull of gravity.